Yeah, this is Asa of Be Queerful, and welcome to this Queer Full Throttle class. Which means it's an active class where we focus on achieving some amazing warrior poses that will strengthen the legs and get our feet nice and settled in the floor. All right, are we ready? No props are necessary, and we begin by sitting down on the mat, laying the hands on the legs, and closing the eyes, taking a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale out through the mouth. First begin by observing any thoughts that we have in the mind, perhaps why you are here, why you're watching this. Then bringing the attention to the body, if you have any aches or pains in maybe the shoulder, neck, legs, whatever. And then finally, the breath, whether this is fast or slow, whether it's mainly in the belly or perhaps in the chest. Yeah, you take a deep intake through the nose and all through the mouth, exhale and release all those thoughts and sensations in the body. Again, by warming up, you can open the eyes, placing the palms of the hand in front of the chest. And on the next inhale, you rise the hands up, growing tall all the way from the spine to the fingertips. So if you're reaching out like a rocket, and on the exhale, hands come together, bring them back towards the chest. Once again, we launch up. Rising with his arms up to the sky, the universe. And exhale, hands come together, bring them down. One last time, reach up even further than before. We're going to explore some unknown universes out there. Inhale through the belly, the chest, and exhale. Palms come together back in front of the chest. And you lower the chin towards the chest, giving a stretch to the back of the neck. And then bringing the left ear towards the left shoulder, allowing a stretch to happen in the right side of the neck. And you walk your right hand out to the side and you bring your left hand up and place it on your cheek or on your ear not pressing your head down, just allowing to give a stretch lengthen from the jaw all the way up to the shoulder, the elbow. And release, drop the head down and bring it towards the other side. So meaning the air comes to the right shoulder, pressing the left arm in the mat and placing the right arm on top of the ear or the jawline. I imagine you're stretching all the way from the hand to the elbow in a nice diagonal shape. And exhale, dropping the head down again. Next inhale, launch your chin up towards the sky. Head tilts back. And then look forward. Okay. And you place the hands on the knees, and then on the next inhale, you open the chest towards the front. Exhale, push with those hands in the knees and round the shoulder. Gaze goes down either towards the chest or the belly button. Inhale, come back forward. See this cat cow pose, as it's called. Exhale, pushing back, round. Last time, to open the chest, walk to the front of the mat, shoulders roll back. You're going to make an orbit with your upper body. Into the left direction, towards the right. 
can imagine your health is, is like the sun and your upper body is like a planet simply circling around it in high speed. And you're going to the opposite direction. Allowing the hips back, maybe a bit of the shoulders to open up. Imagine if you were Earth and the hips were the actual sun, it would take 365 days to make this circle. So we're going to go in a bit higher speed than that. All right, and uh, we make this orbit smaller and smaller as we spiral down towards the center, the sun. And closing the eyes, take an inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Allow the legs, sitting bones to sink into the mat. Okay. Now you place the hands beside you. So you go into a table top pose. Some more warming up for the spine. You inhale, you tilt the tailbone up, belly button sinks down, pressing the hands into the mat, rolling the shoulders back open, the chest look forwards. And as you exhale, tailbone sinks down, you curve the spine, and your gaze goes down, it can be between the thumbs or maybe between the knees. Last time, a bit faster. Tilt the tailbone up, belly button goes down, gates forward, and the opposite direction. This is a simple cat cow pose. Right, once we finish that, you press your hands into the mat, rolling the shoulders back, and you lift the knees up. So it's a up. Strengthening exercise here. Keep looking at the tip of the mat. Don't look between your hands. It's actually not towards your legs. For five, four, three, two, one. Then walk your hands towards the feet. You can place the feet a bit wider so that your upper body is allowed to fall in between them into a forward fold. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And you press in the feet, bend those knees and launch your upper body up into so-called mountain pose. Simply a standing position. All right, bring the feet together on hip distance. Placing the hands in front of the chest and take a moment to observe where you feel the weight in your feet. Is that more in the heels or perhaps in the ball of the feet, the toes, Is that more towards the inside or the outer side of the feet. And now we're going to focus a bit more on that by bringing the weight into the toes. And then bring the weight into the heels. So we're going to make a bit of a swinging motion towards the front and then back. Into the toes and into the heels. And then from here, you come back towards the center. And then you bring your weight into the right foot, the right outer edge of the foot. And then into the left outer edge of the foot. So here you sway from side to side into a rocking motion. As if you're a ship out at sea. And then also here you return towards the center. 
Last time here, you bring your weight forward and now you're going to use your ankles as an axis that you orbit around. So you're circling towards the front side and back. You can synchronize this with the breath. So you exhale as you circle back. Inhale as you circle forward. And from here, go in the opposite direction. Forward, back, exhale, and inhale. Right, perfect. Coming back towards the center. Take an inhale. And exhale. Then you go stand on your tippy toes. Arms are facing forward and then on your tippy toes you walk towards the front of the mat then bring your hands up growing tall again and as if you're going to sit down into a chair bring the heels down your hips staying back and you lower you look down towards your feet and you make sure that you're able to see your big toes so they're peeping under from under your knees and if you don't have that you may need to sit a bit back bring your hips a bit further back or you may need to go up a bit higher and you inhale extend the hands forward make those legs burn also here you go again stand on your tippy toes arms sway back and forward, weight comes in the heels. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink down. Last time, inhale up to your tippy toes, arms sway back. And reach forward, weight in the heels. And inhale back, mountain pose, standing position. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. We're going into our flow. So placing the hands in front of the chest again, sink down into your chair position. Roll the shoulders back, open the chest. And bring your weight on the right leg. Lift the left leg up and make a large step back. Then pivot the back leg into a diagonal. So 45 degrees. Hips are facing the front of the mat and arms face forward. Aligning yourself, finding your balance. Then inhale your arms up. They don't have to be touching and we're in our warrior one pause. Take a deep inhale, feel your upper body rise up towards the universe and on the exhale you feel your hips sink down towards earth inhale you rise up exhale you feel your lower body sink down one last time at your own inhale rise and exhale sink now you bring your weight into the right leg and you drag the left leg together arms front of the chest and rest and towards the other side again sink down as if we're going to go into our chair look down as if your toes are still pointing forward from under your knees bring the weight into the left leg and the right leg step back Making sure it's again, heels on the ground, foot is in a diagonal, hips facing forward, arms reach out forward first as if you're holding a package. And from there you drag them up. Opening the chest. Exhale, sink down. <laughs> Trying to find this length and a so-called pushing and pulling motion as your upper body rises and your lower body sinks. One last time, inhale. 
pushing in the back leg to create more space and exhale bring the weight into the left leg drag towards the front of the mat and again a short break now we're going to sink down again into our chair pose weight comes in the right leg left leg step back warrior one inhale arms up exhale warrior two so you open up towards the side hips are in line with the long edge of the mat right leg remains bent and the left foot is this time in line with the short edge of the mat make sure the arms are parallel you can then look towards the right arm and again imagine here inhale you're launching up with the upper body on the exhale you feel gravity pull your hips your legs towards the floor take a deep inhale and exhale now we're going to stand on our toes on that left uh, right leg placing the heel back down lift the heel up down up and down then your left arm comes towards the front of the mat twist your hips towards the front we're in a high lunge now take a deep inhale and on the exhale step back towards the front of the mat inhale and exhale chair pose weight goes into the left leg right leg steps back that's all warrior one lift the arms up exhale warrior two open up towards the side left leg is bent arms parallel with the mat gaze on that left arm also here feel yourself rise float and sink then you lift the left heel lower lift the left heel lower lift and lower then the back arm the right arm faces the front as well hips turn high lunge allow it to let this burning sensation take over your lower body and then drag yourself forward towards the mat take another inhale exhale weight sinks into the feet going for our last flow so you sink again back into this chair pose Weight comes into the right leg, left leg, step back. Inhale, warrior one. Arms are up. Exhale, open towards the side. Warrior two, gaze is on the right arm. Back here again, deep inhale, imagine you're floating up. Exhale, your left arm sinks on your left leg and the right arm comes up. Take a deep inhale as if something is pulling you up by the arm and then gravity is pulling your lower body further down towards the floor. Last time, deep inhale and exhale. Return to warrior two and then pivot towards a high lunge so hips are facing forward together with the arms. Concentrate and then step or drag your foot back towards the front of the mat other side sink down chair pose weight comes in the left leg right leg steps back inhale warrior one exhale warrior two open up towards the side gazes on the left arm and finding your pose 
then drop the right arm onto the right leg left arm lifts up imagine this time you're really right a rocket launching up into space imagine which planet you'd like to travel to rising up 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 and exhale warrior two arms parallel then high lunge pivot on the right leg and then drag your feet back towards the front of the mat opening up the legs feet are pointing outwards and one last time pretend you're going to sit down into a chair and then flop your body in between the knees allow your Self to rest after that short journey swaying from side to side if you want you can grab the elbows or the back of the knees whichever feels most comfortable to you And then you sink your hips down lower and lower and lower until maybe you can reach with your fingertips the mat. And then you step back towards your hands and feet. Placing the knees slightly back. And then letting your hips sink down into a plank pose. Gaze is forward. And you let your elbows travel towards the back of the mat. Keep looking forward. Let those arms shake. Let them shake a little longer. And then come down onto the mat. Placing the hands underneath the forehead. So now in a gentle back bend. Closing the eyes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. Here you lift both feet so they're pointing up towards the ceiling. They bend the knees and you push your pubic bone into the mat. Now if you found this position, you bring the hands back as well as if someone has ropes on your wrists and is Try to lift you up from the mat. And you can stay here. You look forward or you look down towards the mat, whatever is most comfortable for your neck here. Holding here or maybe grabbing the ankles if that works. And then using the legs, the ankles to pull yourself up a little bit further for five, four, three, Two, one, one last deep inhale, stretch and exhale, release. Holding the arms out towards the side into a T shape. And then you flop yourself around onto your back. Now if you're lying here and you notice your lower back is not touching the floor, it doesn't feel very comfortable, it can work to have a blanket placed under the tailbone or you can roll up your mat, fold it in half 
and place that underneath the tailbone instead. So you found it here, placing the feet onto the mat. We see if you're able to touch them with your middle finger. You roll the shoulders into the mat, inhale. On the exhale, you lift your hips up this time. And then let them sink down. Little by little. And once more, lift the hips up. And lower down. We're going to do a pose that's really going to target those hamstrings, which is a dreaded body part in case of flexibility. Where you lift the toes up, you push your heels into the mat. And then while you push into the heels, you lift the hips up. And if you don't feel your hamstrings or your calf muscles working a lot here, it may work to step them a bit further, or maybe even further. And then you lower down again and you lift up, so you scoop your hips up as if you're ladling a bowl of soup. And exhale, sink them back down. One last time, choosing how far your heels are from your hips. Scoop those hips up, then your lower back and mid back, keeping for five, Four, three, two, one, lower them down. Shaking those feet out and point them up towards the sky, point the arms up. Leave it crazy here. And then bring the knees towards the chest. You can give yourself an embrace and rock from side to side. Makes the circles in one direction with the legs, allowing to massage the lower back, the sacrum, and then turn into the opposite direction, where again this very fast orbiting planet. And inhale, exhale. Allow yourself to come into the relaxation or shavasana as it's called in Sanskrit. And usually they say it's while lying on the back. But I'm giving the option that maybe it's more comfortable for you to lie on the side. Or perhaps you'd rather lie on your belly. with whichever pose is most comfortable for you to grant yourself a minute or two to really relax your muscles, your body, to unwind your thoughts and let the breath return to its natural rhythm. Once you have found your own comfortable position, you feel first the feet dragging down into the floor. And then this weight of gravity enters the calves the upper legs and the hips. Uh, 
And maybe you start to feel a floating sensation into the spine, the belly, and the chest. And then there's weight again sinking into the shoulders, the arms, the fingers. And eventually the neck, the back of the head, also pulled down by gravity. And then your face starts to feel light. Muscles in the jaw, tongue, the eyes relax. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Take a loud exhale out through the mouth. Imagine you're floating up in space. Where it is quiet. this space travel you can remain here trying which planets which stars you can explore if you're ready to come down back to earth keeping your eyes closed and roll into a seated position Once you have landed, take an inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth, and notice any changes that may have occurred in the thoughts, breath, or the body. You bring the palms back together. Take a deep intake of breath and at your own exhale, bow your head forward towards the hands. Again, intake of breath and at your own exhale, lift the head back up. You may open the eyes and that was your queer full throttle yoga class. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, well done and maybe I will hear from you again soon. Goodbye.